You know, I've been asked uh, why it would appear that I am no longer st uh, sticking to a biblical position on fighting for all innocent life at the Capitol or when uh, we've done nothing but fight for the last five months for the principal position that life begins at conception is the gift of God and all life deserves to be protected. Uh, I want to give a biblical answer to that question. In uh, Matthew 19, Moses uh, was being uh, beat up uh, by the Pharisees uh, to Jesus when he was asked, why did Moses allow for a writ of divorce to be given? And in, in Christ's answer, this is God in the flesh speaking to us, he said, because of the hardness of your heart, Moses the lawgiver allowed for a writ of divorce. And then Christ reinserted the principle, but from the beginning it was not so. So my reason for taking my eye off of Christ and maybe lowering it to Moses, if you would consider that, is that I'm also just a human being and a legislator. I have fought the biblical position for the past five months that all innocent life deserves to be protected. That is God's position, and I have fought for that as hard as I can for the last five months. But I'm dealing with fallen humanity, and the best that I can do at this point as a legislator is go to the Moses position and say, well, because of the hardness of your heart, I will go and chip away from 24 weeks to 20. I hope that answers anybody's uh, curious concerns on why would I take this new, quote, compromise position, but there's my biblical answer. Thank you.